this evening, it's my pleasure to introduce the Mandeliers.
last door on the Toulouse de France is a French number. It's a French tune, Bavan for a Dead Princess. A Bavan is a slow processional dance common in Europe in the 16th century. The composer Maurice Ravel, who died in 1937, originally wrote the piece for piano. In 1910, he published a string version. In 2017, Nobi Hayashi arranged this particular piece for mandolin and guitar orchestra.
orchestras. So the mandolin, uh, we divide in the orchestra in mandolin first, let me show it. And second, exactly like the string orchestra, the sixth section of the symphony orchestra. So we have the first mandolin, second mandolin, we have mandola, like viola, mandocello, like cello, and then some of the orchestras have the uh, mando bass. In this case, we have a double bass and we have guitar. So we are a uh, mandolin and guitar orchestra. And now we are, we're gonna show you some of the ensembles that we have in the, in the, the orchestra. So you see the versatility that we, that we can do also with the music. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Good evening, my name is Sarah Newman. And the next piece that you're gonna hear is by Francois Joseph Gose. I don't speak French, but I'm trying. And he composed this piece uh, sometime between 1734 when he was born and 1829. He lived to 95 at the time of his contemporaries, Mozart and Schubert. But unlike those contemporaries, he was relatively obscurely uh, known outside of France, although he did many, many pieces and was known for his operas. The piece we're going to play today is called Gavotte, and it's a familiar tune that you may have heard in a number of Looney Tunes cartoons. <laughs> and I'm playing with my teacher, Genia Tochenaya, and I don't, to I'm not good at pronouncing U Ukrainian language, so she's gonna help me when I do that. But I, I just wanna say, I've been playing the mandolin just for a, a few months, and my teacher, who is so wonderful, um, inspired me to take the risk at my ripe old age and, and play in the orchestra, so I'm here. And I, she then challenged me to do a duet. Okay, and I'm shaking like a leaf, I want you to know. But there's nothing like having someone who believes in you and challenges you. And so I just love this woman. And I will say, if you have the inspiration to be challenged and learn something, it's never too late. And this is the, the most phenomenal group of people who love music and care. And as you can see by our conductor, we're in pretty darn good hands. So I would encourage you to take that risk. And uh, so with that, We'll play three. <laughs> traditional tune called The Lark in the Clear Air. Thank you. 
guitar. Yeah. <laughs> My name is uh, Cynthia Nordone, and I'm going to play uh, with Eugenia, um, who is also my teacher. Um, Milonga by Jorge Cardoso. Cuban dance, um, anonymous, uh, anonymous composer. We thought it was anonymous, but uh, Cindy told us on uh, Tuesday. Yes, but, uh, it, uh, it there is a composer by uh, Anatoly Belvinsky from Ukraine between 1961 and 1963 in honor of the Cuban Revolution. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, Jenga, uh, Ben, Vresita, and I will play two pieces. The first is Moranita do Brasil by Giuseppe Farato, and the second piece is Astro Piazzolla's Libra Congo.
Our next piece is Loan du Ball, uh, also known in English as Echoes of the Ball or Far from the Ball, by the French composer Ernest Gillette, uh, and then arranged by H.F. Odell, an American mandolinist. Uh, originally created for violin and piano in 1888, this waltz can be heard in the 1943 feature film The Dancing Masters with Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> Johann Strauss, who has lived between 1825 and 1899. Also, of course, he was Australian. The arranger for this piece, uh, Austrian. Oh, I'm sorry, Austrian. Does anybody have glasses? I'm not going to mess this next one up. The arranger for this was Ukrainian, and he did this arrangement for the mandolins. And the pronouncing, I'm not going to mess up the pronunciation of his name. It is. Vladimir Marunich. <laughs> that was beautiful. Strauss composed this polka with his brother, uh, Josef, in, which is probably a Spanish pronunciation, but anyway, in 1869. Uh, it was published in 1870. The polka was written for string orchestra and glockenspiel. It was hugely popular, especially in Italy, and it was included on every program Strauss played there. Enjoy.
from Calaveria Rusticana, Italian for rustic chivalry. The composer is Pietro Mascagni, 1863 to 1945, Italian. And the arrangement is by Rodolfo Piazzerio. Cavalleria Rusticana is a one-act opera that Mascagni wrote in response to a competition for young Italian composers who had not yet had an opera performed on stage. However, Muskegney did not think his work was good enough and did not submit it. His wife, Lena, found the work and submitted it on the last day the entries, entries were accepted. Behind every man, there's a... Cavalleria <laughs> <laughs> Rusticana was one of three winners of the competition. It was premiered in Rome in 1890, and it was an immediate success.
very much. Our last number for this evening is a tune entitled Wedding Tarantella. As you might imagine, the song is appropriate for weddings. It's an Italian folk song, actually an Italian folk dance. The Tarantella is associated with the wedding celebration. What is not obvious is the meaning of the word Tarantella. It is related to Tarantism, a disease or a form of hysteria that appeared in Italy during the 15th to 17th centuries, characterized by a strong impulse to dance. <laughs> it is believed to have been caused by the bite of a spider, a... 